Good morning everyone. As you can see here, this is Gigabyte AB350N Gaming Wi-Fi motherboard and that is the BIOS screen and today we are about to install Windows in it. This motherboard would give you privilege to install in any format if you would like UEFI or legacy both. As you can see here, this is bootable Windows 11 installer. So first things that we're going to do, we're going to connect into any USB port. Okay. Yeah. So that is connected. Now we're going to restart the system. So I'm going to press the power button to switch it off. And I'm going to press it back. And we're going to keep pressing delete button to get into BIOS. As you can see here. All right, so from here, as you can see, if you go to system, it's going to tell us about the motherboard details and everything. But we don't need to do anything here. Instead, we're going to go to BIOS. Then we're going to go to peripherals, then chipset and power. Okay, so first thing, let's go to BIOS. Once you get into BIOS, it's going to give you boot priority option, which we can change it. As you can see here, it says the current Windows system in it. And second option is UEFI Kingston Data Traveler, the actual Windows installer. But it does not matter why, because while we restart it, we can press F12 to get into temporary boot option and select this one as the boot option. Okay. But if you would like to change it, it's so simple. If you click here, then you can choose whatever you want to do. For example, like that. So you don't have to go to temporary boot option. Okay. And second option is the internal SSD. So this is done. And from here, we can see the storage control option is legacy only. Okay. As you can see here, we can change from here, legacy only. Okay. So we're going to change into UEFI because we're going to do everything in UEFI. So pretty much everything done in boot BIOS. Now we're going to go to else one and from here we're going to change AMD FTPM if you would like to install Windows then you can turn it on fine from here as you can see it says legacy USB support enable okay you can leave auto this is the best way so you're not going to mess anything and then we need to go to USB mass storage device support enable you have to make it enable all right, and then from here, as you can see, it says trusted computing. That's fine. We're going to leave it enable like that. We're not going to change anything. So pretty much everything in here. Now let's go to chipset. Chipset settings are really important in this section. Why? Because it says setter mode. That's really important. Because in here, it says AHCI. In case if you choose RAID, what would happen is once you get into the Windows setup page and when the Windows setup page would ask you to choose the internal drive where you're going to install the Windows, you're not going to be able to see the internal SSD in the Y because of the RAID settings. So we're going to click here and choose a HCI. All right. So pretty much everything in here. Leave the rest as it is. Now we're going to go to power. From power, what are you going to do? We're going to keep it exactly like that. Okay. Once you keep like that, then we're going to go to save and exit. What are you going to do here? We're going to save and exit it. Save and exit setup. So hit enter again and say yes. Now he's going to restart from the actual USB installer. I'm not going to do anything, but just to show you, if you look into the right side of the screen, it's going to come up and say F12 to the temporary boot menu. But as we choose, that one is the first boot, so we don't need to do anything. So just wait here, as you can see, it's loading up. All right, so from here, we need to hit the next button. Once we do, the next is going to load up all the setup pages. And from there, we're going to accept the license agreement. And once we do that, and it's going to show us the actual internal SSD, 
where we're going to install the windows as i said to keep the radon mood off and then you'd be able to see the internal ssd so from here i'm going to delete everything because i don't have any important data but if you do have one then you need to back it up before you delete or repartition or make any sort of format otherwise you're going to lose entire data and it's going to be so much painful to get back the data so be careful from there once you hit the next button it's going to copy all the files and folders to the system directory and from there it's going to take a couple of free start and then windows should be all yours so if you do have any question make sure you leave it in the comment section and i hope i'll see in the next video guys thanks for watching bye for now So from here we need to hit the next button. Once you do the next, it's gonna load up.